Why do people like sad music? Japanese scientists have found that in fact, sad music can cause positive emotions. Ikawakami, a spokesperson for the research team, said the experiments helped explain why people like such music. Kawakami and his colleagues interviewed 44 volunteers, including both professional musicians and people far from music. All of them were invited to listen to a sad track and a few minutes of cheerful music. Each participant had to name keywords that would most accurately characterize the emotions that appeared. As the sad music of the music, an excerpt from Glinka's Law Separation and Blumenfeld's Etude Sur Mare were chosen. The cheerful melody was taken from the Allegro de Concerto of Granados. The researchers explain that sad melodies cause negative emotions due to the fact that listeners perceive the world around them as more tragic, less romantic and less cheerful than everything really is. Any emotional tension in general is perceived as an unpleasant feeling, but if sad music caused nasty sensations, would anyone listen to it? What is called sadness in music actually includes both romance and sadness. Regardless of the musical experience, the listener associates the emerging feelings with listening to a certain melody. Unlike everyday life, sadness, which is transmitted through art, almost always feels like a pleasant experience, since it is not associated with problems in reality. The authors of the study concluded that sad melodies help people cope with the experiences in their lives. The emotions that music brings do not contain a direct message about danger. In normal times, such feelings make a person worry. Scientists said that people have an unusual ability to enjoy such unpleasant emotions as melancholy. The sadness that has appeared in real life can be successfully replaced by another, neutral feeling through listening to sad music. Stay tuned for more updates.